Hi guys, this is Viper 6. Decided to take the cruiser out today because I don't want it to get too lonely, you know. So, those that follow me on Instagram saw that uh, I spent three hours buffing and then waxing my truck. And I've also been working on stuff like the skid plate underneath. I gave it one coat of paint. I need to give it another one. So I'm out of paint, so I got to go to Canadian Tire and get some more. And uh, I've been touching up like the frame stuff, right? Because uh, Toyota had a recall, so they sprayed some sort of grease on the inside of the frame, but they didn't touch the outside. So I wire brushed it all and painted it as well as the differential cover and everything else. So, so that it looks decent. So this is a weird paint. You notice how it's green. If from in the shade it looks like it would be black then it's green and then if you look at it in the sun it's got some gold flakes in it so yeah kind of cool and as soon as i finished waxing it it poured and it healed and it did all sorts of beautiful crap so whatever So, whatever. This is always a bit of a chore to get uh, this bike out because it's heavy. But the cool thing though is I am not going to go, I was going to go to the local Canadian Tire store and my wife says, no, go for a ride, you haven't gone for a ride for a while, so go to the... Uh, Canadian Tire Store that's in Cochrane. You guys like my license plate? Surprise, surprise. It says Viper 6. Okay, Let's see if I remember how to ride this little bugger. Yeah, it does feel nice. It's a lot more relaxed than the uh, other bike, that's for sure. Yeah, hopefully you guys can hear the exhaust note on this thing. And that's what baffles in. Baffles and um, fiberglass wrapped around the baffles. I did check the tire pressure because they were low, because it hadn't been ridden in a while. And it was dusty and all that stuff, so I cleaned it all up. Okay, I've entered the town of Cochrane. I took a road that I haven't taken before, and we'll see if I can find this Canadian tire. And why are you so freaking close? Hmm? Why? People don't get it, man. Their foot slips off the brake, they rear end you. They get rear-ended, they rear-end you. They frig around like that, playing under the seat and bullshit like that, and they rear-end you. Nice going, Karen. Yeah, you know this is old, day eh, when you see little homes like this? Like, where do you walk on the grass to get to your front door there? I guess. Weird stuff. Built the house, couldn't afford the walkway to lead to the front door. Or it's so old that uh, the grass took over the sidewalk and the walkway and all that. Okay, so this light took for frickin' ever. Don't know why. And then it doesn't even last that long. Look at the countdown on the thing. Really? Really? Okay, let's find Canadian Tire. railway tracks whenever you see a train going over these tracks it's my pension going by as long as they keep moving trains I get a pension that's always good hopefully this is the entrance yeah that was the lady that was like totally up my butt and then with her phone in her hand and all that beautiful stuff so whatever I lived, I lived to live another day. You 
you know, you got to give urban planners a slap in the face sometimes, you know. It's like, whoever's designing the entrance to some of these places and the exits, you have like one entrance, one exit, five million stores, you know, and it's like, come on. And that was the wrong, the wrong entrance to Canadian Tire. So, whatever. I guess I'll have to find it a different way. It looked like it was the entrance, but, uh, and here's another guy that, uh, I guess wants to go to Canadian Tire, but can't figure out where the entrance is. Oh, here we go again. Now, is he gonna turn? No, what are you gonna do? It's like, wake up. Oh, I should have gone in there. That's okay. Man, all this uh, right lane hugging and he's got to turn left, really? Oh, this is where I was yesterday. I learned the shortcut. Oh, look at that, free flow lane. Okay, let's see if we can get into Canadian Tire this time. Oh, shoot. Really? That's an entrance? It looked like a side road. Well, guess what? We're going for a ride again. We're gonna loop around again. You got like five parking spots in front of that and you're gonna do a parallel parking fail whatever yeah I don't know why am I in a bad mood today or what <laughs> not really but it's just like you know there comes a time in your life I just turned 59 years old yesterday yes August 1st was Viper 6's birthday and I find that the older I get the less tolerance I have for idiots and morons and imbeciles and all those that that genre that's taken over the planet you know what I mean yeah oh well but I'm always in a good mood anyway so it's like whatever okay so lo and behold this was the entrance it just didn't look like it like seriously, does this look like an entrance? That's a weird car. Yeah, I knew she was gonna drive through it because that's legal. Plenty of room for a noob to park in the back because I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a noob that parks in the back. Ooh, look at the rust on that Ford. I wonder how old that is. Sometimes it's not that old, but it comes from uh, certain areas of Canada where salt is uh, the condiment of winter. So, yeah, the bike is good. Because they've been stealing a lot of bikes lately in Calgary, we're going to do this.